My name is Lloyd Sutherland. I'm an applications engineer here at Hosokawa Micron Powder Systems, Summit, New Jersey. And today I'd like to introduce to you our LPM2 tabletop laboratory mill. The LPM2 mill is primarily a pin mill, um, used mainly with crystalline materials. And um, you have two sets of pin disks. You have a stationary disk on the door side, and you have a rotating disk on the housing side. When the mill is closed, the two sets of disks intermesh with each other. Particles first enter via the center of the pin disk, and the top speed of this pin disk is 36,000 RPM. The particles must go through the rows of intermeshing pin, uh, pins and exit the grinding zone, and then the material is discharged into this container. These pins do not actually touch. This mill can be run at ambient conditions, and right inside here you have our vibratory, our closed tube vibratory feeder, which is typically placed on top of the mill to have a controlled feed into the mill. Inside of the collection bin here, we have a one liter filter bag for collection purposes. This mill could also be used for cryogenic milling. So we could actually, from the door side here, attach a liquid nitrogen hose and perform full cryogenic milling with it. So we can go down to temperatures to minus 150 degrees very easily with this mill. You may have materials that are fibrous. Fibrous materials do not work very well with pin disks. In that case, we'll use our rigid rotor. Um, this rigid rotor can be used with a full track, as you see here. It could also be used with a full screen. Or we have another one which I don't have available right now, but we have a half track, half screen. So you have half of this track and half of the screen as one device. This is placed inside here, and the rigid rotor is placed right here and works very, very well with fibrous materials. This is a self-contained unit. So the motor and controls are all contained within, within the motor housing here. As you can see from the side here, we have the controls for the, for the mill rotor, and we have displays for the mill amperage and the rotor speed. This here is a vortex cooler. As I mentioned to you previously, this mill runs at 36,000 RPM, and um, it generated, the motor generates heat. To prevent the motor from overheating and also from heat being conducted into the grinding chamber, we can use this vortex cooler to lower the temperature within, within this housing. Thank you very much for looking at this video. And please feel free to explore our website for other videos and information on this mill. Thank you.